The band of the Welsh Guards has launched a moving single to raise money for Brothers in Arms as they deploy to Afghanistan. The battalion's returning three years after losing five members, including their commanding officer. Infantrymen and families dealing with life-changing injuries will get help from the Welsh Guards Afghanistan appeal. Julie Knox reports from Brecon. The band's on a tour of the heartland, performing four charity concerts and rousing those in garrison towns to support the Welsh Guards Afghanistan appeal, to which all proceeds of the new CD will go. We are still supporting those families that, were, um, that need help from the last Afghanistan campaign and we will continue as a regiment to support them um, throughout the, the rest of their lives. With both the Welsh Guards and the 1st Battalion the Royal Welsh deploying on Herrick 16, there will be more troops from the Principality soldiering in Helmand than ever before. That's what prompted the baritone Mark Llewellyn Evans to lend his services on the record. He sings about a fallen serviceman instructing a comrade to take a message home. Tell my father that his son didn't run surrender Afghanistan's almost become like a cancer we all know somebody who's got cancer or a relative who's passed away or something like that and it's the same with this bloody war that's the only word I can use but we either know somebody from our hometown or a relative or we meet somebody like tonight at the concert and I thought I've got to do something as a civilian to help and you know I've been given a voice and surely that this can help in some way. In the audience were the parents of a Queen's Dragoon Guard who died in Afghanistan just four months ago. Uh, I came to support the forces because I'm ex-forces myself and I lost my son in November. I got a bit upset at one stage where when you're singing about uh, you know, the soldier leaving the message. But, were you glad um, you came? Yeah, glad I came. Tell him we will meet as men I think this is one of the strongest messages and signals that actually is sent to our boys and girls on the ground in Afghanistan. People in Wales support their boys and I think that really gives them great strength, it gives them great encouragement and I think it sort of gives them that sort of sense of belonging that they actually were one big family from Wales. It's hoped that at least £50,000 can be in the pot by the time the troops return in the autumn so that funds can be given to the families as soon as they need them. The difficulty that I find is that the army aren't allowed to be out there selling themselves. But I can, and you know, I really believe in this cause and for me it's, it's the charity that I'm now going to, to fight for and work for. With help from baby brother Wynne, who made a guest appearance. No, <laughs> you know, please do, do buy the CD, and I mean buy it, right? Those blokes in the uniform at the door uh, who are collecting, right, they look strong, but they're not, all right? So paper only in the buckets tonight, if, if that's all right with you. While their colleagues are in the sand, the band has its work cut out in London. It's the senior one in the household division just now, with its director being in charge of all ceremonial, like the Trooping of the Colour and the Cenotaph service. And this year there are extra pressure engagements, like the Queen's Jubilee and the Olympics. We've been asked, the household division and all the bands have been asked to, to play at the closing ceremony of the Olympics and that is just so exciting, it's unbelievable. I've been sworn to secrecy though so I'm not allowed to tell you anything about it. After the week in Wales they've raised £11,000 so far. Tell My Father and Men of Harlech is available to download or buy online. Julie Knox, Forces News, Brecon.